So hi, hello, this is Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in this video I will show you the, we will just basically continue with the, with our lesson on the programming language basics on MQL5. So today's lesson will look at the reserved words. So basically what a reserved word means is that a reserved word is a string of characters that is a verb, command, or other part of a programming language and therefore cannot be used as the, as the name of a variable, constant, function, or another procedure in this case. So to get started, let us just open our Meta Quotes Language Editor platform or interface. So to open Meta Editor, we just go need to go to Tools, then click on this IDE, Meta Quotes Language Editor, or press F4 in your keyboard. But in our case, if you had already customized your MetaTrader 5 or MT5 platform, we will just over, hover to the IDE icon over here we, and click on it, which will open Meta Quotes Language Editor for you. So just like that, Meta Editor is opened. And then we just want to create an expert from this one for just illustration purposes. And then click on new expert advisor from template. Then click on next. Then we just need to provide the folder. But in this case, we, we already have a folder. So we just cancel, expand this experts folder, go to... This is now the folder we want to our, maybe our code to be based on. So click on that folder, which we had already created in my previous video. Then click on new one, expert advisor from template, click on next. Now you can see the folder is available for us. We just need to provide the name of our file. So this is now reserved reserved words so click on next after providing the name in this case click on next then finish then from there we just want to push this one this code that is provided to us by default downwards so from there you can then so we want to create our lesson is reserved no reserved words that is the correct name so that is now our topic so basically we just i just explained what our reserved word is then the following identifiers are recorded as reserved word words and each of them corresponds to a particular action and cannot be used in any other meaning by the computer so reserved words are for the computer purposes, for the computer, they are just already defined to the computer system, to the MQL5 library in this case. So let us just get started by just displaying the examples to you. So first part or first type of the reserved words is data types, data types. Then these examples of data types, is uh, the first one is bull no small letters lowercase bull as you can see the computer already knows what bull means in this case in this occasion it is just a reserved word which the computer that it is reserved that it is just defined and it is in place for the computer to understand so the com it has just a specific meaning and you cannot define or identify this name again so it is just a reserved word so the other type is enum enum the full name for enum is enumeration then we have maybe what do we do here maybe you have struct so you can see these are just names that the computers them defined but in our case let date time let us just list some of them so we have then u short char char then we have maybe class yeah class 
what other type now we have color color you can see all these names are discovered or recognized by the computer since they are reserved words to the computer then we have maybe integer it is a data type variable then you have long the other thing you have is maybe structure struct no we listed struct over here yeah but maybe let us put another name here maybe you char it is just reserved for the computer system we have you integer that is an assigned integer data variable then we have an assigned u long as well as long over here basically these are some of them then we have maybe double we have the other one after double now is maybe short short we have a, what are the maybe a string it is also a data variable what are we if, since we had short we have an assigned short so you short maybe what are the we have uh, maybe void type yeah maybe basically those are those are some of the examples of reserved data types variables or reserved words for the computer then we have the one that are called access no, that is not the correct name of access. Then we have access specifications, specificators, specificators in this case. So some of these are maybe constant. Yeah, const. We have maybe the public one. We have uh, maybe private, private. Let me change this one to lowercase, private. Then after there we have now the virtual, after there we have, a, maybe you can put again here, let me just push this one ahead. Then we have, what else, maybe you can have the protected, I think we have exhausted the access specificators. Then we have now the memory, the memory classes, memory classes. These are now the external, the external, then the inputs. They are basically three. So after the input, we have the static. Static. Then we have now the operators. Operators. And this type of operators that have reserved words is like break. There we go break the case the continue conti, continue the default you can see they are just appearing so the delete the delete then we have maybe the do the if the else if the for loop, those ones, the new, the return variable operator, the maybe size, uh, do we have size of, yeah, there it comes, size of maybe the switch operator, switch, yeah, switch operator, the while operator, uh, they are just the basic ones, you know, then we have now maybe the what name do we give this one maybe let us call it others others the other type of reserved words to the computer maybe let us start with the bully bullish ones the boolean ones maybe false you can see now this they occur in red but not not specifically red in this case but they can also be blue but they are not on the category of data types they are not on the category of access specificators neither are they on the memory classes operators they are, they are just on that others maybe in this case so true if we have false then we have true yeah you can see maybe this one yeah this 
maybe the we can have now the define yeah we have another we have maybe import hashtag import yeah maybe you can go ahead and put hashtag and see what pop-ups no it doesn't maybe include high definition you can see all of this one maybe the the include one is there no, no let us put another hashtag and go to in no not include let us start with i we now have the maybe the we and import maybe you have i definition if definition another one we have maybe property you can see basically these are also provided over here the, that hashtag property so in this case these are now the reserved words for the computer in mql5 programming basics so you cannot use in our previous lesson we saw that you cannot use this type of reserved words as a type of an identifier you cannot use them as an identifier so in this case maybe because maybe double you cannot use double and then say that you want to create a class you you identify your word as a class maybe like this one maybe like this one it will just bring an error so if you want to create a class and you want to create an identifier class you just need to name it maybe like that one and that one will be okay by using this one this uh, lower case what do we call it yeah this one maybe and then maybe another digit class one class two but basically you cannot use class as your identifier because it is a reserved word and we noted that one on our previous lesson so basically that is all you now already know what reserved words are in the mql5 programming language basics so bye bye and have nice traits